Hey Libra, welcome back. This is a bonus reading for February 2023. We're going to see what needs to come out in terms of messages from Spirit. Remember that if anybody contacts you guys through the comments that you leave and it's from WhatsApp, do not um, engage. I would never send you a phone number asking you to contact me to purchase a reading. You all know that at any time you would like your own personal reading for me to tune into just your energy. You could just click on the link below in the description box of every reading and it'll take you right over to my Etsy shop where it is protected um, and it is secured. And you could see the um, various readings I offer over there. I am doing three giveaways, um, to three readings this month as a giveaway in terms of love. So for those of you that are new, go ahead and subscribe because I do these giveaways monthly. Um, this month, it'll be three love readings. So go ahead and subscribe. New and returning subscribers, leave a heart emoji in the comment section of every reading that you view of mine during the month of February. And then I will randomly, re um, randomly choose three people and reach out to you through YouTube initially but then direct you over to my Etsy shop um, where it'll say contact seller and then we'll handle it over there. All right, guys, so let's see what's coming your way. Flowers, be generous. Success and emotional fulfillment are yours. Card of 11. And look at this, unity. A time of divine understanding, renewal, peace, and hope. You radiate and attract great love. Amazing. All right, let's see what else. For my Libras. And guys, you also know, because I've said it in my other readings, always take what resonates. Don't ever force it. It's not going to always completely resonate for each and every Libra. But also watch your rising moon and Venus sign readings for additional clarity. And like I said, at any time you would like your own personal reading where I can tune into just your energy, you can visit my Etsy shop. Someone's coming towards you asking for forgiveness. For some of you, I feel like you're in that stuck energy feeling blocked. You could have a past energy of like a third party situation. But there might be a need to like change, you know, clear out your energy, shift your energy, raise your energy, raise your vibration. You know, go towards each day with, you know, an at, like attitude is gratitude. Once you start being, thinking of everything that you're grateful for in each and every day, many blessings start coming your way. You fall into that rhythm and sacred space. You know, it's like taking care of yourself, creating that sacred space within yourself and whatever it is around you that is yours, your car, your apartment, your house. But raising that vibration and keeping that sacred space for yourself. When you're totally grounded and able to take care of yourself, that's what makes you so attractive. That's what changes the energy. All right, let's see what's coming towards you in your reading. All right, I'm sorry. Oh. King of Wands and the Death card. They didn't want to be picked up with the rest of the deck. So there might have been an ending with the fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We'll see if they come out in your reading. All right. Spirit, what is the current situation? For Libra. Current 
current situation for Libra. Six of Wands and the Moon. So I have fire energy here and I have the moon. I feel like there's going to be a brand new beginning with someone. And it's definitely somebody you already know with the Six of Cups. Now it does not have to be an ex per se. It could be somebody that you've had a connection with in the past. Maybe went out on a couple dates with. Maybe it was like more of a friendship in your life. But I feel like someone's coming towards you. They want this connection. They want to work hard for it. With the moon, I feel like they're about to bring things to light on how they feel. What is the past energy for Libra? Two of Wands. I think for most of my Libras, it's like you did progress forward. Even though there's someone returning asking for forgiveness, it's like you didn't... I feel like you worked on being becoming unstuck you worked on your sacred space you made for a plan you made a plan for yourself to to move on to move forward what's the future energy there you are showing up libra the empress that you are the eight of wands communication and a breakthrough Again, the world at the bottom of the deck. Remember, be generous. Success and emotional fulfillment are yours. You're going to be very happy with what the future holds for you. A lot of fire energy. All right, Spirit, what's going to be the overall outcome for Libra? And this person asking for forgiveness. The overall outcome. The overall outcome for Libra. It's being able to close the chapter on what didn't work in your life. Cleanse that energy to become unstuck. Learn the lesson within the, your experience. And be able to grow from that. Be able to have the courage and move on from what didn't work. Final message for Libra. Final message for Libra. The sun. Definitely a fire sign, guys. They may have water in their chart. You may have water in your chart. But you're breaking free from the silence. There's your break. They're like the silence is going to be broken. The courage to move towards one another, to want to work on happiness with one another and unity. I feel both of you. If you know one of you, if not both of you, definitely went through like a spiritual, a spiritual growth. Maybe even spiritual awakening. Yeah, I feel like they've been keeping an eye on you. If you have been involved with a Leo, I would definitely watch Leo's reading. Yeah, see? Feeling like you're both are on the outside looking in. I mean, at one time, it was a comforting connection. And it maybe even it, it was somebody that you dealt with, like a friend of yours, that maybe told you they had stronger feelings for you. And then distance occurred. But there's going to be movement. have earth en energy here too so you may have earth in your chart or they may please clarify the six of wands twice yeah you both have worked wow this is a lot like leo's you both have worked on your stability 
you both have your own security, your own financial grounding, your own sacred space. What is the overall outcome? The overall outcome. See? I really feel like one person in this connection was not ready for a commitment, and that's what caused, caused the ending. I feel one person was in it 100% or was trying to be in it 100%. The other wasn't. Cross watchers, Libras, take it out, resonates. Flop the, flip the energy if you need to. I feel this was a very hard ending for both of you. But it's through that ending, it's like both of you want to come together and make your dreams come true. One of you might live by a big body of water, an ocean. But I feel like you've manifested this, Libra. Look at this. There you are, the seven of coins, planting the seeds. And there's the king of wands again. And I do feel like it's gonna be fast action. I don't feel like you're going to be waiting long for this for this communication. All right, spirit for Libra and their person. Libra and their person. And there you are, within one to two weeks, or during the fall, September twenty second, October twenty first. Balancing of these scales. Brand new beginning. You're going to be very tender towards one another. You're going to start, you're going to look at each other in a different light than from before. No more seeing things through an illusion. Like looking at the bigger picture. It's both of you have completely transformed. And you're not going to hold back because of fear anymore. All right, Spirit, what else? For Libra and their person. Yeah, for some of you, I definitely feel like it was a spiritual connection. I feel that both of you dream about one another. But this is also the energy of obstacles being removed. All right, spirit, between Libra and the person. All right, let's see. I'm trying to connect to you and give you a message. Can you hear me? That's that telepathy. That's that elephant. The telepathy. Some connecting on the 5D. I long for your kisses and your touch. Anything else, Spirit? And I'm going to pull Scrabble tiles, so do... Wait till the very end. Right, wait for Libra and their person. I feel like Libras are air signs. Air and fire, it's like big connections. A lot of my readings are air and fire. Our mission is to be on conditional love. Clearing our programming. That means things that you both have endured in the past. That basically hangs around or triggers you as emotional baggage. Clearing our programming is a necessary part of opening our hearts. I think you're beautiful inside and out. I see the light that radiates from your soul. That's that Empress energy. That's what they see within you. The journey, 
this journey is teaching us one of the most important spiritual lessons, patience. I'm telling you, I really feel like one, one or both of you have been through a spiritual awakening or ha have developed, have become very, you know, even closer with your spirit guides and the universe. All right, let's see the tiles coming out. All right, we have E, Y, R, C, U, T, P, V, A, I, M, O, B, G, F, as in Frank, and the rest are repeats. All right, Libra, focus on the messages. Focus on the tiles as an added personal clarifier. So if this resonates, if the messages have resonated, um, if you're dealing with a fire sign, mostly, I do have some water here. Um, but I feel like there's two people that are coming back together so, so grounded. Like you both have gone through such big transformation within you separately. Like you're not coming back together in, this, in the energy that separ separated the two of you. You're coming back even stronger. But they only have eyes for you, Libra. Definitely this unity. It's like they long for you. They dream about you. But I feel like the same exists in your energy. They want happiness with you. All right. Always let me know how it resonates. Go ahead and drop that heart emoji in the comment section if you're interested in a free reading and if you want your own clarity want me to focus on just your energy maybe somebody specific relate like in regards to your love life just you know click on the link below to my Etsy shop I wish you the best weekend ahead and I will be back for many more readings love and light